this is how important it is and, and how, how, how important that we do it quickly. We have to mobilize the same way we did when we entered World War II in 1941. We have to fully mobilize everything we have and put it into changing the energy system over. And not just here in the United States, but all over the world. It's going to be the business, business, biggest business project in the history of the world. Fortunes, billions of dollars are going to be made. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to be employed. We're going to have clean air. We're going to have so many benefits from it. It's not going to cost us anything. Not doing it will be catastrophic. We'll have eight degrees. We'll be eight degrees hotter in 10, not 10, but in 30 or 40 years. And basically none of the crops will grow. Most of the people will have died and the rest of us will be cannibals. Civilization will have broken down. What The few people that are left will be living in a, in, in a failed state like Somalia or Sudan. And, and living conditions will be intolerable. It, it will, the, the, not doing it is suicide. Just like dropping bombs on each other, nuclear weapons is suicide. So we've got to stop doing the two suicidal things, which are nuclear hanging on to our and, nuclear and, weapons. And global and, and then after that, we've got, to, we've got to stabilize the population. When I was born, no, there were So too, what's wrong with the population? I mean, we're too many people. That's, what, that's why we have global warming. We have global warming because too many people are using too much stuff. But if there were less people, they'd be yeah, using less stuff. It, yeah. If we don't get global warming and the nuclear weapons straight out, we don't have to worry about human rights. Well, all the humans will all be gone.